All right, number one, 96 BPM is the goal. No faster than that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Number two, all downstrokes, goal of 200. One, two, one, two, three, four. Goal of 155, all upstrokes. One, two, one, two, three, four. Next scale thing, one string at a time, I have the, wait a minute, there we go, Got the start note and end note for each string put in, so just fill that out, going down like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, as we have done in the past. And the next theory thing, going to work with 11th chord arpeggios. Now, with the arpeggios, we can play more than the chords that, are, that were strummed. So here, we're not going to leave out the ninth interval. Here, we're going to play the ninth interval. So, with the major 11, we have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. So what I want you to do is forget about naming anything right now. That's something I think we need to go over together because these will be some new things. Different way of thinking about this stuff. Just fill in the notes. That's all you got to do. Basically, as you do this, the C major 11, you're just skipping every other note and you just start with C. C, skip D to E. Skip F to G, skip A to B, skip C to D, skip E to F. So you're skipping every other note name. So it'll be the same thing starting with D. You just skip every other note name until you reach the 11th interval. So that's 1, one 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. So you just go all the way up to the eleven, or in one case of sharp eleven, and then come back down. So skip every other note. Follow the same pattern laid out here. You have the root note by itself. Then you have the third and fifth together. Seventh by itself. Nine and eleven together. So just go up the same way. With the C major eleven's laid out. Another way to look at it is you have one note, then two notes on a string. One note on a string, two notes on a string. So again, just skip every other note. You should be okay. And then follow the Roman numerals to tell you what you're going to play. And as 
as always, we're going to have something in the high octave and open position. So any questions come up with it, let me know. So remember, don't worry about naming any of the arpeggios because we have to have the ninth interval taken into consideration with this stuff because we're going to use it. So that will change some of the chord names, or in this case, arpeggio names. So just fill in the notes and we'll go from there. All right, I'll see you again next week.